Okay, for setting up the computer to take the photo for your races today, we turn the computer on. The computer might take up to a minute to open up. Once the laptop is opened up, take your mouse and go over to the Optic 2 algae timing icon and double click. And then the Optic 2 test window will open and this is what you should be looking at. Okay, as we've got the test pattern open, at the start of the day, depending on which track you're at and who used the computer last, it's always a good idea to go up to system up the top, click on system, click on camera settings, and a camera setting box will appear. As you can see, there's a scan rate that's at 2000. We're at Ipswich and we're probably 50 metres back from the Wyndham Post. We usually use that on this new camera. If you're close to the outside rail and, you're, and the track's closer to your, to your camera, we'd recommend you at least go 2000. If you're a long way back, we could drop that down and go to say 1800 or, or so. But usually I'd like to leave them on at least 2000. Over here you will see we've got gain range and the pixel modes. The gain range, at currently it's on four. I'll just show you. We've got, it's currently a dark day here and it's raining, so we've got it up on four. If it was a sunny bright day, we could go down to three. And as you'd see, the image has got darker. So on a sunny bright day, we could probably have that down on two. But as you can see, today being an overcast day, that's how dark it is. So I've gone in and moved that up until I've got it to where I think it's comfortable for us to see, which is again four. Also make sure your pixels here are on the highest level, 1360. And as we're racing in Queensland and the horses are coming from the right, make sure the dot is in the right box and not the left box. Coming from the left means they're going Melbourne and Adelaide way. So in Queensland we need to make sure that's in the right box. Otherwise the horses will the photo will be taken going the wrong way. Okay, we're currently got the test pattern on. This is what we should be looking for at the start of the race. We've got the rail here. We've got the outside rail here. And there's our mirror reflection. So, just, so the horses are at the barriers and we're going to set a race. You've got two choices. We can either go up and go file, new, and then a pop-up box appears. Or we can just go straight to the running man, which is here. Click once, and then the pop-up box will appear. We then set the race. So for this purpose, I'm just going to put test one and today's date, which is 18th of March, 0315. Click on OK. And this is your start pulse will, box will appear. We can move the image over to the right hand side and get it out of our road and we can take this box and put it in the middle. The new cameras, some of the new cameras start on 0 0.1 that's the way the program has been set up and that's fine. Also notice that the green start box will appear. If this is red you need to close the program, close the computer and reboot the computer. But you should have green in that start box. Okay, once we're ready now, assuming the start trigger at the barrier doesn't start our timer and we have to manually start it, we'll have a start trigger button, which is like this. The green one's for the start and the red one's for capture. Some of the new computers will have a green one for the start and a, a toggle for the capture. So you would hit the green one to start and then at the end of the race, when they're about 10 metres from the finish, you would hold the, the capture button down like this. I'll give you a demonstration now. They're all in the barriers and they're ready to go. And as soon as the barriers open, 
we hit the green button and as you can see on the computer the running man is counting and he's in running mode so we know the Tom's working. If for example it was a false start and something broke the beam and it's a false start there's a false start button here we just go to false start and click on it confirm false start and it will go back to the start position so you don't have to reset the race all you have to do is click false start confirm false start and it will re-trigger back to the start position so we will assume the race has started and we're in running mode to capture the race when they when they get within 10 meters or 15 meters of the line we hold this button down and hold it down until the last horse has gone well and truly past the finish line and as you can see on the computer it will show a yellow and a photo capturing the image when the last horse has gone let go and it'll go back to the green image then we go into end of race confirm end of race we can drag that page across a bit wider we scroll down a little bit and then we scroll across and you'll see the horses appear okay we've got to the end of the race so we go end of race confirm end of race once we've done that we can drag the page over a little bit as you can see it's a bit dark so before we go and rank rank as you can see it's a bit dark so we'll go to image go to brightness the pop-up box will open we'll take the gamma up and it, see how it gives us more light we'll close that box and then we can rank the, the horses so as you can see we've got the five as the winner so you right click five okay go to the second horse right click on your mouse number eight okay then we go up and hit place and it'll drop them in order so it'll show five first eight second and it shows the margin we then go through and rank all the rest the same you follow this procedure for all the results initially it's a good idea when you first get the result of the race because we need a time for the winner put your line on the winner's nose and the time will appear up here in the right hand corner so the time for the winner is 124.40 the judge will then ask you to give him the first five placings so before ranking them we should go through them and show him the, the photo and say 5, 8, 13, 12 and 14 and as you can see you can't see the number cloth so you should learn the colours so you have an idea of who's who we follow that procedure and then rank all the remainder of the field after giving the judge the first two margins so the first margin was a half neck by one and a half and then we rank them all once we've ranked them all and we're happy we've got the whole field I'll continue to rank them all to make sure we've got them all. We then go up and hit place. When we hit place, you'll see the drop down box. If we tab that down, as you can see, I've only got 10 in there and there was 11 runners. So straight away, that will tell me that I haven't ranked all of them. So just to give you an idea of which one, it says 5, 8, 13, 12, 14, 11. Number 9 is after number 14, so that's the one I haven't ranked. So we right click and rank it, and then go up and hit place. And that will then drop it in there behind number 14. So just be aware of how many are in your field. Go through them and rank them all. Then go up and hit place. And then if you arrow down, it'll tell you how many you've ranked. And hopefully you've got the right amount. In this case, we've only got one page. But sometimes the fields will be strung out. 
and up the top here you'll see where it says one of one sometimes that'll say one of two or one of three if that's the case the ones at the back of the field could be on the next page so to get to the next page you would just click this arrow button here and it will drop you over onto the next page and then you can scroll across till you find the horse Okay, we we're at the end of the race, so we'll click on end of race, confirm end of race, I can drag that photo over a bit. When I scroll across here, it's, it's going to be a closed photo. I'm happy the photo's okay, but if I'm not sure I can see the lines is perfect, we can go over here to the pixel lag icon, which is correction of pixel lag. If we click on that, a little pop-up box will open up. By going up and down with the arrow keys, it'll sharpen up the noses of the horses. So you can change that before you make a decision. And then click OK. It'll say, do you want to correct the image? We'll say yes. Then we'll go over and put the line on the nose. As we can see, the outsides beat the inside. But if it was a bit closer, and even in this case, We've got another option, we can go up to the magnifying glass, click on magnifying glass, which is the zoom window. As you can see there's no horses in there, so what you do is you take your cursor over and put your line between the two horses' noses, like that. Take your cursor away and then use the arrow keys on the keyboard and tab over until you're happy one horse has touched the line. As you can see, it's on the line there, but it's a magnified image and it's much clearer so we're, we can make the decision easier. That's how you would blow up a photo finish if it was really close. So we'll do it again. You go to magnify, click on the zoom window, click between the horse's heads. If you click your nose up here, your cursor up here, you'll only get one horse in. So you need to put your cursor somewhere in between their two heads and both their noses will appear. And then you can either use your mouse or use the tab across key, the arrow keys, to tab across till one touches. And then after you've done that, then you can comfortably rank the winner.